Hi everybody, it is Monday, it is start to a new week, which means it is the start of a new vlog. It is now week three of the new Tweetathon. I have not moved from the spot since I just did last week's vlog, which in a way is kind of funny of how I'm wording it. It sounds like I haven't moved from the spot in a week, but I literally just finished filming the last week's vlog, or the ending of last week's vlog rather. I just figured I'd at least film an intro so I don't forget to do it later because I don't know if I'm going to have the, I guess, the willingness or, you know, the capacity mentally to, to do that later tonight. I just did my usual 9 to 2 shift at job number 1 and the goals for the rest of the day are as follows. 1. Work out the booty. 2. Finish an audiobook. And the audiobook that I am listening to now is Shrill Notes from a Loud Woman by Lindy West. Uh, I have about an hour left of this audiobook and I very much would like to finish it. So far it's been a very fast, easy read. It's just so funny. I see me easily rating this five stars on Goodreads, but we still got an hour of this audiobook. Anything can happen. And three, edit and post a video to stay on track for my three videos a week challenge that I have going for the month of August. Those are the goals for the rest of the day and I guess I'll check in later to see if we've completed these goals. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday. Um, I completed my goals yesterday. I worked out the booty and then I finished Shrill. I think the entirety of my workout all I listened to is Shrill and I freaking loved it. I am indeed rating this five out of five stars on Goodreads. It's a memoir where she talks about feminism, being fat in today's society, what it means and the, the social aspects of it. She also talks about trolls on the internet. Like she basically talks about her experiences as a fat woman on the internet. And even though there were times where she did talk about some really tough and hard stuff, she still said it in a funny way. Like when she needed to get serious, she got serious, but she wasn't afraid to tell a joke or crack a joke. And I really loved that. I've never read anything by her before, but I am going to seek out other stuff by her. So I highly recommend this if you haven't read it yet. I completed a newt last night. I kept calling it owls in my last vlog. I completed a newt last night. Um, it's Ancient Runes, I think. I'll read a book recommended by a friend, and this was recommended by Sylvia over at Wish Fulfillment. You should check out her channel. I highly recommend it. I started Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman today, but I think I made it 20 minutes before I'm like, I'm just so tired. Too tired to even listen to an audiobook. So I made it 20 minutes before I just turned it off. And now I'm on my way to Staples. I realized when we got home that we're out of dish soap. I have plans to start editing a video, so I'm not doing that all day tomorrow. But I don't know how that's gonna go since I'm pretty tired right now. I think I'm probably just going to relax for the rest of the day. And I'll check in with you guys most likely tomorrow. I don't see me checking with you guys tonight, but I don't know. I might surprise y'all. Hey everybody, it's Thursday. It's been a couple days since I last checked in. Uh, last I checked in was Tuesday. I was on the way to Staples to grab some soap. Was successful in that endeavor. It's really interesting how Staples has a lot of household items. They have it in the break room section and it's weird, but it makes sense and it's quite convenient for me if I need something for the house. Afterwards, I actually completely, utterly forgot that we, um, my husband and I needed to get the, the car looked at just for its, you know, typical checkup. Is that how you word it? I'm wording it as if the car had a doctor's appointment, but you all know what I mean. And uh, we were there at the dealership for a little while. So I actually started um, Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. And I think I'm about 40 pages in. Let's see. I have the book. All right, I just looked at this and I am about 45 pages in and it's grabbing me. I actually was very disappointed when I had to put the book away and head home. It just enraptured me. I really want to find out what happens next. And of course, I've just been so busy that I haven't done that quite yet. Because when I got home, I actually edited um, the video that went up on Wednesday. And I wanted to go to bed at a reasonable time, so, so as soon as I finished editing it, I put a stopper in it and just continued with it in the morning, like editing the thumbnail for it. And it went live by 11 o'clock on Wednesday, which is really early for me for posting a video. So far, I've been really successful about my three videos a week schedule. I was able to film two more videos on Wednesday. 
I filmed my top five for the year so far and bottom five of the year so far. So keep an eye out for those videos next week or this coming week rather, depending on when this video goes up. I did start Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman within the last couple days and I'm 40 minutes in, into this audiobook and to be completely honest, right now it's not grabbing me. I like the overall premise of this one where it's about kids are surviving this plague and they're surviving because they're like evolving, they're, they're getting these abilities and the adults are calling them freaks and they've stuck these kids in a camp. And our main character actually has a very dangerous ability, but she's been able to hide it so far. So she's been able to have more freedoms simply because they think she's not that dangerous, which is really fascinating to me. Whereas Neverwhere seems to be very dry so far, our main character leaves home to go to London for work. It seems to take place in modern day. And it flits between our main character who's trying to just rough it in London, working your typical nine to five, and he, he's getting married, he's doing what he's supposed to, but there's no passion involved. And the next chapter follows, I guess, this fantasy element to the story, where this woman is being hunted by two unsavory characters. To be completely honest, I'm not that far in to really understand what's happening in this story so far. And I think because I'm 40 minutes in, I'm still not quite getting what's happening is probably why I'm disinterested. But we'll see how it goes. I have work tonight. I just did my usual 9 to 2 at job number 1. And today was just a boring day at work. I had to make stock, um, make the CDs, stuff the CDs, and then put this stock on, on the shelf and then I continued on with this YouTube project that my boss is having me do just adding links to our YouTube videos and I'm almost done I've been going through it and it is boring me to tears so I can't wait for this project to be done and I'm kind of chilling out before having to leave for job number two today I offered to pick up another shift and so I'm doing a 12 hour day so I'm real happy for me I'm working another full day tomorrow, not a 12 hour day, but I'm working a full day at job number two at a branch and then another full day on Saturday. So I know for a fact I'm going to be exhausted by the end of the week. I have a wrap party for a film that I did a couple of months ago. I actually booked it during the Owls Readathon. Uh, they just finished wrapping. I had a very small part and so my job was done like ages and ages ago, but the film just wrapped. So they're having a wrap party this weekend and I'm going to be exhausted but I'm gonna go and a friend of mine a friend that I made at job number two she's leaving Boston she already gave her notice at, at the job so she's leaving Boston and her going away party is this Sunday and I don't know if I'm gonna have the stamina to actually go to two parties in a row after doing such a full week but again we'll see we'll see how everything goes I guess Good morning everybody, it is Friday morning. Last I checked in, I was going into job number two. I was pulling a 12 hour day and granted, I wasn't pleased about having to do that, but making extra money is always great. So I did continue with Neverwhere and honestly, it makes so much more sense now that I've gotten a little bit more into it. So basically Richard is living his life and it's a life that, you know, one that one should lead. There's no passion to it. And the there's another character called Dor. She's running away from these two men. And she actually lives in this magical, like underground London sort of thing. It's not the subway, but there's like two Londons. There's the underground magical London. And then there's like the regular London. She's running away from these two characters and she she's hurt. She falls on the sidewalk and Richard comes across her and he rescues her. Now, he's involved in trying to help her get home so that's the story now that it's making sense i don't hate it before starting work i actually was eating dinner and i continued with uh, the darkest minds so i think i made it 20 pages there and that is just that has hooked me i can't believe it's taking me this long to read it and i had actually i owned a copy of this i owned a signed copy to boot but i had it for five years before i went you know i'm never going to read this i'm just going to give it away to someone who will love it now that i'm reading it I'm, I'm kind of regretting giving away my signed copy of the darkest minds but it's okay but man i'm just more surprised than anything that this book has has me hooked i'm to the point where she was rescued from the camp and it looks like some hunger game stuff is going to go down 
Today I'm working at job number two. I'm working a full eight hour day, like I said yesterday. And so I brought The Darkest Minds. That's what I'm going to be reading today. I may listen to Neverwhere on the way home. I just, I didn't listen to it on the way to work today. I have some time before work. I actually brought this, Night to Lisbon. I'm not reading this at all. I actually borrowed it from the library during the reading rush when there was that Instagram challenge, like post a, a book of a place that's like on your bucket list to travel or just a book set and not in the US or the UK. And this is set in Portugal. And I borrowed it with every intention of doing Instagram post and I just never got around to it. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I wanna take a quick picture. There's other people at this train station. So I'm probably gonna be that awkward person that's just taking a picture. And then I'm gonna to go to work. Am I watching the clock to make sure I'm not closing right before five? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just not up to being yelled at by an elderly woman looking for a very old DVD that she could have rented for two bucks online. We're waiting. No one's been here for 40 minutes, but we're waiting. Oh my god. Oh my god. The best thing just happened to me. She came right to me. Oh, hello, darling. I know I hear you. You going bye bye now? Can I have one more pet? Can I have one more pet? Oh, you're such a good girl. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. Hello. Hey, you laugh. Let me in, please. No. No. Hi, everybody. It's Sunday. It is the last day of week three and the start to week four. So I'm going to be uh, filming a quick little closing video for this week's vlog. So the last time I checked in, it was Friday. I was kind of like goofing around a little bit, waiting to get home. And I had every intention on vlogging once I got home, but I ended up not doing that. I read all day at work. Work was really quiet and I ended up reading like 200 pages of The Darkest Minds. So I am now a good, I'm definitely at least halfway, more like two thirds of the way through this book now. And I'm enjoying it. The pacing has slowed down a tiny bit, which has me a little disappointed because I want it to move along so I can find out what happens next. And then I listened to Never Wear a Tiny Bit uh, while I was at work on Saturday. I ended up working in the in the back for a couple hours first thing and I actually had to change the speed of this audiobook. Unpopular opinion time. A lot of people listen to audiobooks here on BookTube. They always, always listen to it at least at one and a half speed. I personally don't like that because as a performer, the person narrating the book is also an actor and they're performing it. And so I want to listen to it, how they're performing it. So I want to listen to the, the acting choices that they made. But we have one week left of this readathon. So I'm going to have to like speed it up a little bit. And I'm listening to it now at one and a half speed. And honestly, it's probably made the book a little bit better. A lot has changed in both of the books. So in The Darkest Minds, where I had left off originally, she was being rescued by the Children's League, and we find out later that the Children's League are actually just as bad as the government's. And I literally left off on a cliffhanger when she finally exposes herself to the group. And uh, I'm gonna read for the rest of the day just so I find out what happens next. And with Neverwhere, we find out what happens to our main guy. So the main guy, living his very boring life, finds a girl from the underside of London, saves her, but in the act of saving her, he falls through the cracks himself, and so he's no longer a member of Upside London. He has to be part of Underside London. Like, no one remembers him from above, and he's just trying to get his life back at this point. And I don't care about this guy, if I'm being completely honest. He wants to get back with this fiance that didn't care if a person was dying on the ground. So when he first comes across this woman from Underside, she's apparently a very important person politically. He sees her and wants to help her, 
But his fiance goes, no, just just leave her. Call nine. Not I was gonna say nine one one, but it's London, so call nine 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 if you feel like you need to help. But we gotta go. And the fact that she was like so unkind and unfeeling towards this hurt person like disgusts me a lot. And he goes, well, I'm helping her. And in retaliation, she like breaks up with him. Like she she like cancels their engagement. And at this point, he wants to get her back. I'm like, why do you want to get back with someone who's so gross? So I'm not impressed with this guy. I can understand wanting your life back because that's really heartbreaking to have this life and then just have it snatched from you. But dude, you don't need this girl. So I feel like at best, I might rate this book three stars. I'm so far into this book now that I can't just stop reading it. I want to stop reading it, but I really want to finish this newt for the readathon. Like I really want to get this newt because I don't see myself getting an O in this. I don't have the book in front of me. I think this is for history of magic and this is this would count towards the E level and I need to get an E level in order to pass this new. So unless I find like a really short book that will also count for this, I have to continue listening to this. And I really wanted to get better because I really like Neil Gaiman. And The Darkest Minds is also for the E level for Defense Against the Dark Arts. And once I finish reading these two books, I'll only have one more book that I would need to read before the end of the week. Like uh, I need to read a book that is, that's been on my TBR for ages for the O level for, I want to say Arithmancy if I'm remembering it right. I don't have the paperwork in front of me. I just know it. that book is the Iron Cast. I don't have the audiobook for that, and so I don't know if I'm actually going to get to reading this. I might find, I might go through my Goodreads TBR and find like a super short book through that. I don't know how this, this last week is going to go. It's definitely crunch time at this point. After work on Saturday, I didn't do um, any more reading. I went to a rap party for this movie I was in. I had a great time. I definitely felt a little out of my element because I only was on set for one day and everyone else was there for a very long time, like almost the entirety of shooting. So they were all very close friends. So I definitely felt a little bit out of my element, but I still had a good time. And today I originally planned on going to my friend's going away party, but I can't now. I was worried about not having the stamina to go. I have that, but I tried doing laundry this morning and um, my washer is filled with water. It will not drain. So I am here trying to fix that instead of going out and enjoying my life. So something tells me this quick load of laundry is going to be a six hour affair. So yeah, that is my plan for the rest of the day. Try to wrangle my freaking washer and um, try to get some reading done. I do have a video to edit. If I want to stick to my three video week plan, I do need to edit a video today. But yeah, I guess this is where I'm going to leave y'all. Like I said, I have some wrangling to do. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you've been doing with this readathon, if you're participating. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess it's ta-ta for now. Bye, guys.